<laughs> I won fight it. Top. Oh. Top. <laughs> Top. <laughs> Hold on a second. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you doing today? Eli and I are going to. Oh, look at that handsome devil right there. Oh my gosh. We're going to see the animals. We're going to see the animals? What kind of animals? Black widows. Black widows? <laughs> the, the black widows are going to be nice. We're going down to the Avila Farmer's Market? No, it's it's the Avila, Avila Barn is what it's called. And they've got lots of animals. It's Friday and Hillary is teaching at Noah's school. Teaching. She's helping. God, get it together, Brian. Just Eli and Daddy Day. We're gonna go check out some cool animals and then maybe afterwards we'll come back and check out the snakes too, so welcome to the vlog. Hey, if you guys didn't know already, what we do around here is we click the like button first. And that way, if we don't like the video, we can always unclick it later. Let's shoot first, ask questions later. Eli, you ready to do this? Are you sure? Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lot sunnier out here in Avila. Pretty stoked. Can we? Yeah. What is that? I want these. Do you want to see him? Yeah. Share. Here. Oh, save it. You're welcome. Got it? <laughs> I'll never hear the end of it if I don't bring Hillary back some Avila Barn Rice Krispie treats. Okay, we gotta go pay for it, okay? I want to eat this. Okay. We got some gold. You got? You gonna go feed the babies? Can I have the money? Okay. Now you wait a minute and let me give you your receipt. I I see. Here's your paper. There. Here you go. You're welcome. Have fun with the goat. Yeah. Sit out there. Surely doesn't like the idea of sharing his food with the little baby goats. The baby Oh, let the baby have some good. Here we go. Dobby. Hi, Park. Did it sneeze? I, 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 I found. <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 There's something really cool about seeing this little guy go feed the animals like takes me back to my own childhood. There's something to be said about having kids and, and living again vicariously through your kids. Like all the things he's doing, it reminds me, it takes me back to the moments I had like that when I was a kid. Pretty cool. Boy, you didn't mad at me. Daddy's been mad. It's been mad. Like, don't chase him. Why? Because he doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to be chased. Like that. Wow, this is so cute. Wow. Wow. Oh, that was out. Wow. Wow. Ha ha. There's no more goats. No more. You're going to throw the... Find a trash can to put your bag, okay? That was a lot of food. Yeah, you don't want to pet that. Eli the emu. That's a big bird, huh? Daddy, let's come. I want my paper. Ooh, you're so cute. I want to go in there. <laughs> you want to go in there? I don't think we can go in, but. Because the, the gates are there, they don't want people inside with the animals. Sure. If the goat accidentally rams you, they could be in trouble. They don't want the goat. Remember how the goat was knocking over the little baby? Yeah. Do you want that big goat to knock you over? Yeah. Yeah, that's why they won't go, go inside. What do you know? I know. These um, goats. What about goats? Because the big and the tiny goats are all the around there, then because they want to eat on food, because the big ones all want go in there, because that one is pretty big. What do goats like to eat? Um, fruit. <laughs> Puppy, I'm feeding some green food, some nasty, angry, but food. <laughs> and as I know, That chicken didn't want to be bothered by you. That's why he bit you. Because you, you're grabbing his feathers and stuff. So he bit you. He said, leave me alone. Oh. Okay? Okay. Look at this guy. Almost finished that giant sandwich, man. <laughs> you're a tank, Eli. I'm a big boy. <laughs> Where's this root? There you go. I'm glad you guys came back for it. I was going to turn it into Lost and Found a little bit. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm really glad this place is here. Kids love it, man. <laughs> you too? All right, Avila Barn. Thanks for having us. So here's what's up, guys. Watermarking. I used to do it a little bit on my photos, and then I stopped because it's kind of a pain in the butt, just the way I do it, you know, it's like, I'd have to make it for each different photo, to put it in this spot, and put it in that spot, so just stop doing it, because I was like, whatever, if somebody wants to use my photo, I don't care. But then somebody brought it to my attention that it's not just about me. If I have pictures out there of snakes that other people can use, like scammers can use like high quality pictures to try and sell snakes to unsuspecting people, 
then that's a problem too. So I tried to think of like, what's the best way I can easily watermark something without having to do a bunch of extra work to watermark it, and I came up with this. Bam. What do you think about that? Does it look better on this side? Does it look better on this side? Definitely better on that side. Just gonna put my snakes on there and then it'll be like a built-in watermark. It's like I don't even need to uh, do anything afterwards. I just take the picture on there and then it's an actual picture of my logo with the snakes. And I'm thinking I'll probably make one with a smaller watermark too, just so we can, you know, experiment and see what works best. But I thought this was pretty cool. And if you guys want to steal this idea, go for it. I think it's, I think it should work pretty well. I like, it's a very nice reflective surface. Why don't we shoot some snakes on it? Please try not to pay attention to my weird little uh, shirt mannequin guy right back there. Don't, don't look at that. There's, there's a possum between these surfboards down here. Let's see if you can get a shot of it without getting bit. He seems like he's kind of older. I got my shot of him. I'm just gonna leave him alone. You guys have a good weekend. I'll see you on Monday.